I don't know. I mean, I think that there's a collective sense of frustration, and it doesn't really matter what side of the political spectrum you're on, if you're on the right or the left, there's this feeling that there's no way to hold people accountable, uh, particularly people in power. And you Will you shut it? It's got to the point where the details of the respective manifestos are coming out in, you know, little drips and drabs, uh, like the most jittery, uh, hyperactive episode of the, th of the thick of it, you know, with all the little, uh, all the little politicians running around and all the civil servants running around desperately, you know, thinking up ideas and correcting like hasty ideas and trying to get the figures together. And as I've said, you know, I'd like a tighter race uh, with either, you know, ideas that are much more nuanced or, you know, like pleasingly detailed, pleasingly complicated, or, you know, just genuinely like, capitalism versus communism but at the minute it just says all that the Lib Dems and Labour uh, they've just got policies that show they've got no idea about how jobs uh, and money and taxation actually works just like the Lib Dems want to put a penny on the pound uh, which roughly adds up to sort of three quid a week for the average worker specifically to help the NHS, and you know on the surface of it, that's a, a noble idea, except it's, you know, it's like when you're, you're, mate, uh, uh, you're having a meeting at work and your mate's uh, talking, uh, or, you know, when he's doing any kind of public speaking, and you want to help him, uh, and so you just start coughing, <laughs> like coughing ideas under your breath, uh, and you get like a little them spokesman saying a manifesto pledge and uh, he's going uh, you know suggesting like uh, a penny on the pound tax rise uh, and you're just there going cut the military cut the military or you know cut the foreign aid foreign aid friends people are dying of hunger in africa oh cry me a river uh, you know it's like yes cut the military because you don't associate the Lib Dems with uh, being uh, you know, like a uh, Wooten Bassett style uh, sentimental army types. But at the same time, look at when they sacked that, what's his name, David, uh, I won't say David Moyes, but you know, from Sunderland, but I love him. Uh, David Ward, you know, when he suggested that British foreign policy is to blame when, whenever we get attacked by terrorists, and, you know, it's rightly or wrongly, surely that's quite a, a rational, logical idea to have, as opposed to Johnny F just bombing us just because he's evil incarnate. We are at a period in history where we have this misguided war in Iraq where we're supposedly showing the world how to behave in a, in a civilized manner. And, we, yeah. you know, we have the, the Muslim peoples living in our country, and they're saying, mm. is this really your civilization? If we can get off this ship and then blow it up, let's do it! And as for Labour this week, you know, and uh, cameraman foot maiming Jeremy Corbyn, you know, they've got this plan to hike taxes for anyone earning over 80k, and surely... That is 80k, starting only at 80k, that is quite a lot of money, you know, that is, those are the wages of a rich, uh, desk bound middle manager, surely. Uh, you know, if you're on 80k, you know, put that away for four years, you're going to get a mortgage, and you're going to own a house, starting... WILL YOU SHUT IT? This business of renationalizing everything, it's uh, its crazy to be honest because, well, especially the Royal Mail because I spend uh, five days a week in my job sending things mostly on Royal Mail and 99 times out of 100, they are as good as gold. Well, actually more than that, probably uh, most of the time. You know, there's no problems whatsoever. Uh, and it's just, you know, state greed to want to renationalize it. Uh, you know, if he was suggesting nationalizing uh, a joke factory like Hermes, then, you know, I'd have, uh, that would be, you know, a sort of noble idea.
but you know the man's just all about uh trying to be all things to all men and it's not going to happen is it I think, <laughs> I think frank buff and i are the only survivors i said before in the style of uh BBC impartiality. I also want the Tories to do something stupid or rubbish that I can also criticise, you know, to bounce out. And I thought that would come in the form of Theresa May appearing on the one show uh, as if it's some sort of uh, university recognised cultural institution and not just a show that happens to be on at seven o'clock and you know on the other side if there wasn't an episode of uh, uh, MASH or the Goldbergs uh, or the Simpsons that you hadn't seen literally 4,000 times before there's a chance you might sit down and watch it uh, oh, well, I'm, actually I'm lying because uh, you know in the 80s you had that weird schoolyard superstition uh, whenever an ambulance uh, drove past your school uh, if you accidentally looked into the back of it, you would see Death's face reflected in the grass. Well, you know, that's the way I feel when I'm skimming channels uh, and I accidentally see the one show. Uh, it's, uh, it's a terrible show, surely. And I thought that was the worst thing that the Tories did this week, but then I found out that Theresa May had... Uh, well, basically suggested a fresh vote on whether to bring back fox hunting, which is, uh, well, it's, it's, I think it was Tony Blair in his uh, autobiography that said, uh, you know, you regretted banning it, but at the same time, you know, the public felt so strongly about it, his hands were tied, you know, you knew it was a unique, uh, uniquely hated subject one way or the other, but Theresa May, Brought up, you know, unsolicited from where she could equally have just said nothing at all. What's that about? You know, I know I don't know if you've seen the the film Little Deaths, uh, or is it Small Deaths? Uh, it's from the people who made uh, uh, the ABCs of Death and uh, Southbound. You know, it's those really dark, transgressive horror films that earn their uh, 18 certificates you know, dozens of times over. I uh, don't even see that. There's a scene where a uh, woman is uh, sort of chained to a bed and uh, covered in beef broth, and then uh, a huge pack of hungry wild dogs is released into the room. And I think it's safe to say that it's the fate that most fox hunters have got waiting for them when they arrive in hell. But at the same time, you know, I like to think I'm pragmatic about it, yeah? And uh, are you honestly telling me it's it's uh, more cost-effective to uh, not just fortify your little uh, chicken uh, hutches with something stronger than, you know, flimsy wire than spend the money on, you know, unlicensed, unregulated people in luxurious red jackets on you know, thoroughbred horses that are worth thousands of pounds. Are you honestly telling me that is the most cost-effective way of doing it? My family owns nine square miles of land in this town. And isn't my family what this town's really about? Vote Bobby Newport for city council. I don't really care about her idea of uh, capping uh, uh, energy bills because I just don't care about it. Because surely, if there's one thing that is quite a, a heavyweight industrial business, it's supplying energy uh, to people's houses, you know. Uh, surely that is quite an expensive business. Uh, but what I do hate is in the, the press conference, when that woman stood up, uh, the, the woman journo stood up and said, oh, when uh, Siliband uh, suggested a similar thing in his manifesto, uh, you call him a Marxist. And you know how I feel about Marxism, you know, we don't, in this country, we don't understand the concept, you know, we flatly don't understand, you know, so it's probably best not to talk about it one way or the other. It's like uh, if your gran 
fan comic, uh, and it's uh, uh, an image comic, uh, probably supreme, you know, by uh, Rob Leefield, you know, with no backgrounds and uh, terrible artwork uh, and terrible story. And your mum found that, uh, your, your grand found that uh, Rob Leefield comic, and she held it up and said, Oh, I hate Watchmen. That is the same as us in Britain having an opinion about Marxism, yeah? WILL YOU SHUT IT? It's around uh, this point in any political campaign that I like to uh, pay a trip to the bookies. But this time, uh, uh, the odds uh, for, you know, the Conservatives getting in, uh, you know, they're so, uh, your returns are so minimal, uh, it's hardly worth it. Uh, and the trouble is, you know, the next best bet uh, is that uh, the Lib Dems will do well. And I don't want to go in, you know, like Coral, where I'd usually go, and all the, you know, the sw swarthy working class men will look at me as I go to the counter and they'll think I'm a uh, Lib Dem supporter. And, you know, that's the last thing you want. So I looked on, uh, what was it, Bert Victor? Uh, online, so I can just do it online, and they've got some really good odds. Uh, it's like if the Lib Dems uh, get between 15 and 20 percent of the vote, then that's nine to four, uh, and 21 percent over is five to one. Uh, and I thought, even if you, you know, divide that just by the the uh, pro and anti Europe thing, uh, you know, the electorate are stupid. So, you know, you're, you're probably going to clean up.